The theme of the Expo is the starting point. It's very important, as it was here in Dubai. But it would be something very unique in Rome, is that container and content become the same. The container, the built Expo, talks about how we can build a city, how we can come together. And at the same time, the content, and the two things really go hand in hand in the process. The other thing I wanted to mention is, you know, this is really for all of you, as I said, the commissioners, all of you today, all the people listening. This is just the beginning of the process. This is something we need to do again together. We want to do this in a bottom-up way so that the theme is something that we come up in an open source way. Having said that, let me share with you just a few things about the site and why we think that the site is very, very unique. Well, first of all, you know, we've seen the beautiful video before. We heard in the words of, of the mayor about, about Rome. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I will not talk about uh, the city we all know, but about how some aspects that Rome has been elaborating over thousands of years can become the beginning of the expo in its future. So the theme, as you saw, is people and territories, but really put together by the world together. And so when you look at this, you can look at together is People in territories, of course, is people in cities. How we build cities. Ancient Romans had two words for city. One was herb, one civitas. The herb is the physical city, the city made of bricks, like the, the Colosseum here. But then you got the civitas, the community. The community that today is a global community. All of us today, all the visitors that will come to Rome, but really, probably at no other point in time, at least in the past 20 or 30 years, the word had such a need to come together in new ways. And that's what we want to explore with, uh, with the Expo. But it's also together about people and nature. This is something we'll be discussing a lot with Matteo, with Italo, with all the team. It's, again, it's just the beginning, but blurring the boundary, natural and artificial. The crisis we're living in today is probably because of that fracture. If we can actually bridge it, then we can find a solution to many of the challenges we face today. And together is people and art, something that Rome has been excelled in, in the past, and that we want to bring to, to the Expo side. And of course, the Expo is also many of the things that, that tie us together. You know, it's all those things that you can call transcultura, those things that beyond culture are really the common ground for all of us as humanity, and food is certainly one of them, as well as technology, and people and people, together people and people coming on the Expo side. So somehow, you know, that's how we are starting to frame this and how we really hope to get a lot of input from all of you to develop, to help develop and bring the theme to, to 2030. But having said that, so this kind of transcultural part that brings people together, where to make it happen? Now, the Mayo already uh, unveiled the site. It's an incredible site, and I want to tell you a little bit about it. We hope, you know, this, our goal is that the site will host uh, uh, 30 million visitors uh, with 150 participating countries and a site of over 200 hectares. So it's a site that actually has a history. It's not in the center, but as a history, it's a site that brought people together. For instance, in the World Youth Day in 2000, over two and a half million people converged on the site. The site that uh, the mayor mentioned before uh, is uh, Tor Vergata. And, uh, and so from that side is actually, we believe, an incredible opportunity to put additional dots, to make sure that what is already there can join forces and together we can, uh, you know, create a great catalyst, catalyst project in order to transform it. So why is it? First of all, you know, they decide where there's a great university in Rome called the University of, uh, of Tor Vergata. <clears throat> so there's already a lot of a lot of intellectual energy there. But it is a site where you have next to it also some important research centers. Sometimes, again, in Italy in general, in Rome in particular, we think about the past, we forget about the innovation and all what happens in, uh, uh, in the city. And so a lot of the research centers are there. Um, it's a site also that's, um, well, because of a bit of lack of planning in the past decades, was that also you find some fragments that are not totally integrated. What a better opportunity than the Expo to tie all of this together. Um, it's a site where, like in many places in, uh, in, uh, in Rome, you also have archaeological elements. Those as well can, be, can become part of the whole process. It's a site where we also have beautiful, no, these two beautiful buildings done by Santiago Calatrava, uh, Santiago Calatrava, 
who did here at the Expo, the UAE Pavilion, just a few meters away, well, they, they were done in 2009, uh, and they need to find a new permanent use for the city. What a better opportunity than the Expo in order to embed them into the broader urban fabric. And then also is a site that, uh, again, it sometimes it happens in every country. It happens in Italy where you infrastructure it, but you lack a few pieces. You can go to Tor Vergata by metro, but it, you don't get fully at the university. It's a great opportunity, especially with the funds that Minister Giovannini was mentioning, to reconnect it better with, uh, with the city. Um, and, you know, connect not only this in terms of infrastructure, in terms of mobility, but also in terms of green. A green infrastructure, like a green river connecting Tor Vergata with, uh, with the city centre. So, somehow, we think that this site is a perfect opportunity to see how together we can build a piece of city. And not only a piece of city for the expo, but from the beginning, from the get-go. Something that will last in the long term. I need to add something. I, I spent most of my life in the United States, uh, and uh, what I've been seeing over the past couple of decades in Cambridge, Massachusetts, is how universities, if they have enough space, to give students, to give people, to give researchers the ability to come up with an idea, to do a startup, to invent something, can be incredible engines of growth and innovation. And that has happened in Cambridge, you know, between Harvard and MIT, the whole place in the middle today is booming with, uh, you know, garages where students graduate and go and try to do something again to build a common future. I think here we've got a great opportunity to leverage an existing university, to leverage a lot of the other universities that were mentioned before, a lot of the research centers around, in order to, to create an innovation ecosystem that could be the engine for Rome of tomorrow. Well, uh, I'll finish just, you know, I don't need to tell you where Rome is, but, you know, as you know, it's very central in the country. Um, some of you, the commissioners, don't know when you, this is the last time you were in Italy, but over the past few years, thanks to the high-speed network, really, you can go in just a couple of hours. You go from north to south. Rome in the middle is really easily accessible from the whole country, and uh, at the same time, is also very well connected. This is a, we looked at this as the map that I've seen shown many times here in Dubai about the catchment area. Well, again, you know, that uh, we expect, you know, that those visitors will come from here, but from all over the world, also with a big digital outreach. I think 2030 will be when we can really have two expos, the physical expo and the digital twin that allows everybody on the planet, again, hopefully, to come together. So somehow I want to finish with this word. Uh, that's our interpretation of the team, but this is just the beginning. The beginning for something we want to do with, uh, with all of you. So please reach out to, uh, to the great organizing committee. We, we are uh, you know, thrilled to be able to help and contribute, uh, but really it's a common path. Thank you.